This is Richard with JR Propo, and this is the eighth in a series of videos regarding how to set up a new helicopter model in the JR T44 transmitter using the JR Tags Mini 3 axis fly barless gyro system. In the last video, we set the transmitter for XBUS A operation for use with the Tags Mini. We bound the receiver in XBUS mode to the transmitter. We used the G Tune program in a laptop. To change the receiver type in the TAGS Mini from remote antenna to XBUS. And we also use the G-Tune program to select the channels for the gains for elevator, aileron, and rudder to match the ones we had set up in the T-44. In this video, we're finally going to begin the physical setup of a helicopter with the TAGS Mini. We're going to set the reversing switches and swash mixing the transmitter so that the servos all move in the correct directions and perform the initial installation of the servo arms. Before we go any further, I need to correct an error that I made in an earlier video. I stated that the TAGS Mini would learn whether the helicopter had 120 degree or 140, 135 degree CCPM mixing during calibration and that you should always set the swash plate type in the transmitter to 120 degrees. I was in error. After working with JR in Japan for over a week, the first part of the statement was true. The TAGS Mini does learn the swash plate geometry, uh, whether it's 120 degrees or 140, 135 during calibration, but it does this based on the programming in the transmitter. So if you have a model with 140, 135 degree swash plate, and have set it to 120 degrees based on the information in my previous video, this is the time to set it to the correct swash plate type. We're going to start by turning on the transmitter and from the home screen pressing the L button to get into the function list menu. We're going to scroll to the bottom right of the second page of the function list menu to get to the system list. Highlight system list and click the roller. Now in the system list menu we're going to scroll over to the right where it says swash type. Highlight swash type and click the roller. Now that we're in the swash type menu you can see it's 3 servo 120 here. That's highlighted. We're going to click the roller and now we have a list of all the various swash plate types that the T44 will support. Again, this is only if you have a CCPM swash plate with 140, 135 degree geometry. You'd scroll down, three servo, 140, 135, and click the roller. Press the L key twice to back out to the home screen. Now the model that I'm going to set up here on the videos is going to have a 120 degree swash plate, so I will be changing it back. I apologize for any inconvenience my misinformation may have caused. Our test subject for helicopter setup is one of the new Tarot 550 helicopters. The TAGS Mini is temporarily mounted to the helicopter at this point. It's in the same orientation as it will be when mounted permanently, and it's mounted in such a way that it's easy to reach the three programming buttons on the top and the USB port. You may notice an additional cable coming out the back of the helicopter. This is temporary also. This is an extension so that I can do the initial programming with a simple four cell nickel metal hydride battery. I'm old school and this just as always more convenient for me. The ESC and the secondary power lead from the ESC are not connected at this time. The servos being used are the new JR Brushless S8955SHs for cyclic and a new S89HR for the tail. These are connected to the TAGS Mini as shown in the diagram in the TAGS Mini instruction manual. Now you'll notice there are no servo arms connected and there's no linkage connected to the helicopter at this time. The servos are very quick and very powerful. We don't know what the orientation of the output splines are on the servos. 
We don't want any binding. We don't want to start out by damaging linkage or servos. We're going to be using the swash mix menu in the T44. The T44 and all JR DMSS transmitters use CCPM swash plate mixing to coordinate the movement of the three cyclic servos when used with the TAGS Mini. Swash mixing controls the CCPM mixing of the three cyclic servos, including their basic direction. It controls pitch, roll, and collective pitch, and the rate of pitch and roll and flight, as well as the overall collective throw. This is a bit different from some other fly barless units, which use single servo collective. This system has the advantage in that it allows the adjustment of the flip and roll rates as well as overall collective travel from the transmitter as opposed to having to connect a computer or other tuning device to the fly barless unit to make these specific kinds of changes in the field. The swash mix settings are set in percentages and positive and negative values. Changing from positive to negative or vice versa reverses the direction of those functions. We're going to begin by powering up the transmitter. And then powering up the onboard electronics including the receiver and the servos by connecting the battery. You see the LEDs flash as the TAGS Mini initializes. It's very important not to disturb the transmitter sticks or the helicopter during the initialization process. We're now going to enter the function menu of the TAGS Mini. We're going to press the S button on the TAGS Mini and hold it for about two seconds until the LEDs light up in a circular pattern. When we let go of the button, the gain LED should be lit. Okay, gain LED is lit. We're now in the function menu of the TAGS Mini. Going back to the transmitter, we're going to press the our L button on the left, the list button, to go into the function list menu, and then we're going to go into pitch curve. Highlight pitch curve and click the roller. All servos hold. We're going to select no because we have to be able to manipulate the servos from the transmitter. Now we have a linear pitch, cur pitch curve, straight, 0, 50, 100%. We're going to raise the collective stick until we have 50% stick input and 50% output. If you look at the lower right side of the screen, you can see it says in 50, out 50. Now in the function list menu and the tags mini with the gain lamp on, the gyros are not active. We have the transmitter stick for collective set at 50% and the other stick functions are centered. So at this point, we're going to install our servo arms. Now we want to get these in most helicopters as close to perpendicular to the push rods that they drive as possible. Now if you're using JR sub trim free servo arms there's a clamp on the arm and with the servos in this position you can rotate the arm slightly and then tighten the clamp. Don't forget to put a bit of thread lock on the bolt for the clamp and your servo centering is done at that point. There's another step involved in using conventional arms, like the plastic arms we're using here, which we'll address in the next video. Now the next thing we're going to do is set the general direction of things. Um, we're going to move the collective stick up and down. I'm moving it up now, and you notice the left-hand servo, this would technically be the pitch servo, and the elevator servo are moving up, but the right-hand aileron servo is moving in the opposite direction. With one servo moving in the wrong direction, we're going to correct that with our reversing switches in the transmitter. We're going to go into our, from the home screen, we're going to go into our function list by pressing the L button. 
we're going to go to reverse switch, which is already highlighted. We're going to scroll to the offending switch, which is channel 2, our aileron servo. We're going to click the roller, and then we're going to go back and check. We're going to move our collective stick up. And now all three servos are moving in unison. Let's check the elevator function. The front two servos, the pitch and aileron should move up. The rear servo, the elevator should move down. This is also going the correct direction. Let's check aileron. Our right aileron servo for right aileron should go down. Our left one should come up. And I'm applying right aileron on the transmitter right now, and these are backwards. So we're going to go into our swash mix menu and make a correction. Again, from the home screen, we're going to press the L button for list. And we're going to scroll over to where it says swash mix on the right. Highlight and click the roller. Now we have aileron at negative 60, elevator at positive 60, and pitch at positive 60. Aileron was reversed, so we're going to highlight the negative 60, click it, scroll it all the way to the right to positive 60, and that will reverse our aileron throw. Checking our aileron throw, when we apply right aileron, the right servo should move down, the left one up. And that's exactly what's happening. So our basic throws and directions are now set for cyclic. I'm going to check our rudder channel here. This helicopter likes pull on the push rod toward the fuselage of the helicopter for right rudder. And it's going in the right direction. If it were incorrect, flipping the reversing switch in the transmitter would correct it. In the next video, we're going to perform a servo neutral adjustment to center the plastic arms on the servos. Thank you.